Hello everyone and welcome to another class on my YouTube channel Tom Yoga Om. Today's class we're going to be stretching into our whole body but mainly focusing on the sides of the body so opening up that space along the sides all the way up into the neck as well as opening up into the hips and loosening up that area. So you're going to get a full body stretch here and I hope that afterwards you feel quite great. So let's get to it. Alrighty today we're going to start on our backs and we're just going to come down and bring our feet flat on the floor with our knees bent and just bring one hand onto your chest one hand onto your belly and start to take some deep breaths down into the belly and up into the chest and feel your hands rise up as you breathe in and as you exhale just make any adjustments you need to make and start to soften into the ground and find a flow to your breath so a rhythmic, smooth breath in and a smooth breath out. Keep the breath flowing in and out. And just notice the state of your body and as you breathe in, on your next inhale, just scan the body and see if there's any tightness or anything going on for you today, maybe an injury or some tension. Just become aware of it and as you exhale, feel it soften even just by like 5%. Continue feeling into the breath. And notice how it's changing your body and how your body moves with the inhale and the exhale. Feel the muscles of your face and around your neck and the tops of your shoulders soften. And feel the space around the hips and the legs and around the pelvis soften too. Let's take five more deep breaths in and out. And just take this time to tune in to yourself, to how you're feeling. And notice what's going on for you before you start this practice today. Notice what you feel physically, where you feel good or maybe not so much. Notice what you're bringing in emotionally. Maybe you've been feeling pretty good or maybe not so much. And just notice the mental landscape, so where your thoughts are and where they're taking you and where they've been taking you recently. And then just bring your focus back to the breath. And if there's an intention you'd like to set for yourself based on what you're experiencing, maybe it's a positive affirmation, then feel free to do so. Or like me today, you might want to just get a really good stretch in to really open the body up and, get, and to get the system flowing. Just take a few more breaths here. And once you've landed on that intention, just breathe it in from the air around you. Imagine that you're breathing it into your being, into your body, to your soul. And as you exhale, just feel your body soften. Good, and you can start to wriggle your fingers and your toes and circle your feet and your ankles and take a big breath in, reach your arms back behind you and then take a hold of your elbows and we're just gonna take two deep breaths into the front of the body. So I want you to breathe down all the way into the belly but also to the pelvis, so a little lower and then up into the chest, breathing in. And as you exhale, just feel your body soften and melt. One more like this, breathing in. Feeling the front body rise up and breathing out. Good, change the fold of your hands. So just notice which arm is on top of the other. 
and just switch them over and take two more breaths here. And feeling that nice stretch as you inhale to the space around the chest, around the shoulders, and up into that belly region. Good. And then to stretch into the backs of our shoulders, we're going to lift our arms up. And I want you to take a full breath in and lift your shoulders off the floor, press into the back of your head, reach up as high as you can. And as you exhale, just drop your shoulders down, but keep your arms up. Good. Let's take two more like that. So breathing in, lifting up. Breathe into the back, breathe into the space between the shoulder blades and exhale to soften. And last one, full breath in, breathing in and breathing out. You would draw your knees into your chest and just circle them a couple of times. Massage into your lower back and open that lower back up. You can kind of feel it stretching as your knees draw in closer to your belly. And circle the other way. Remember to keep breathing. And then very gently release your feet down onto the floor. I'm going to take a hold of the mat with our hands. I want you to press down into your feet and really gently roll your hips up off the floor into a bridge pose. Don't go up too high to begin with. Just keep a nice stretch happening in the front of the body. As you exhale, ground down into your feet. Soften into the shoulders. As you inhale, lift up a little bit higher. And again, as you exhale, just soften and release your hips down a little bit. And one more breath here. We're going to inhale, lift up. Stretching that little bit more, and this time as you exhale, roll your spine down onto the ground, nice and slowly. Good. Just to get into the backs of the um, legs a little bit, we're going to take our ankle onto our right ankle onto our left knee and draw that left leg in, and just take two breaths in and out here. If you need something a little bit extra, you could straighten your left leg, or you could just press your right elbow into your right leg. And just take another breath in and out like this. Pressing your right arm into the right leg. And then gently release your feet down to the floor. Do so slowly and change sides. So left ankle onto the right knee and draw that right leg in close. And as you breathe, you're going to find that on either side, there's a kind of like a wall of a stretch where it feels really good to stretch into like a certain amount, a certain amount of stretch will feel good. And beyond that point, you'll be stretching too much. And under that point, you won't be feeling anything at all. And just be mindful that even though we have two sides of our body, it doesn't mean that they're equal or even. So as you breathe here, and as you maybe press your right, your left arm into that left leg, just notice, does it feel more open or closed than the left side? And can you just let it be and just let it stretch to the limit that feels good for that side? One more breath. Good, very good. And then bring your feet down onto the floor. And from here, we're going to take our knees onto our chest again and just circle them a couple of times. I've just got one more little stretch I wanna do for the front of the body. And it's a really good way to open up into the hip flexors, which is this part of the legs here. This part gets tight when we sit, stand, walk, run. No matter what, we're always drawing those legs up or forward. And as a result, this, get, this muscle gets tight. When this muscle here gets tight, our whole sort of abdominal and leg space is drawn in towards each other. So we end up going like this, and that's when you get curvature in the spine. It's not the only reason, but it's one of them. So just to begin with, take your hands onto your belly and extend your left leg up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath in, press your heel away. And as you exhale, point your toes, stretch the fronts of your feet. And just do one more like that. So breathing in, pressing the heel away and breathing out, pointing the toes. Good. On your next breath in, pull those heels, uh, press the heel away, pull the toes towards you and lower your leg to hover above the ground. And then very slowly and with control, lift that leg back up to a vertical position. It's okay to bend the knee here, especially at the start of the class. Inhale to lower down and exhale to lift it back up. Good. For the next two breaths, same thing, but I want you to take the breath a little lower than the belly into the pelvis so you feel the stretch with your breath, breathing in, really breathe down into that lower area of the belly and exhale to lift up. And last one, full breath in. 
and a full breath out. Good, hug that left knee into the chest, just circle the knee to massage into the hip joint and circle the opposite way. And in case you don't know, a joint is where two bones meet. Some of you will know that, some of you won't. And then release your left foot down to the ground, lift your right leg up. And again, just start by stretching the foot and the leg. So press the heel up as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, point the toes. One more, breathing in, pressing the heel up. And breathing out, pointing the toes. And on your next breath in, breathing in, press the heel up and lower the leg down. And exhale to lift the leg back up. Four more, breathe down into the pel pelvis and into the belly. And exhale, breathe up. Two more, breathing in. And breathing out. And last one, breathing in. And breathing out. Good, bring the knee onto the chest. Circle it a couple of times to loosen into the hip. And circle the other way. And from here, bring both knees onto the chest. Take a big breath in. Gently squeeze them in on the exhale and then take your arms underneath your legs and rock yourself up and down a couple of times. Now, because we haven't worked into the hamstring so much, you might find that your legs don't really want to straighten. Your lower back might feel a little tight and that's okay. We're going to deal with that in a sec. In a moment, when you're ready, just come to the top of your mat and take your hands onto your knees. Inhale to lift your chest up, doing like a little cat cow here, breathing in. And as you breathe out, just drop your back behind you and draw your chin in towards your chest. And then inhale, straightening up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, breathe into the belly and the chest and exhale, drop back behind you. One more, breathing in and breathing out. Good, and then come back to a vertical position. Now, I don't like doing any um, core work because my abdominals don't feel so strong, but that's why I need to do it. And so that's why we're going to do it. So <laughs> just start by lifting your right leg up, press the heel away from you, pull the toes back towards you. And when you do this, it just strengthens the muscles in your thighs and in, in your hamstrings a little bit, which is the purpose of um, pulling those toes back. And it just keeps our legs feeling nice and strong. So just pull those toes back and you can even try to relax the feet. Notice you don't feel as strong. All right, so pull those toes back. And from here, just reach your arms out in front of you. If you want to straighten the legs, you can. My hamstrings aren't as open right now. Let's just take two deep breaths in and out. And you should feel it in those hip flexors, which should feel pretty open from the lowering of the leg. Take one more breath. In and one more breath out. And then cross your ankles over. And from here, just simply fold yourself forward. Good, inhale up into a halfway lift, like lifting your chest up. And as you exhale, glue your sitting bones down into the ground and just fold yourself down. And I want you to try and find the stretch in your lower back space. So if you can feel it there, that's excellent. Let your head relax, take two deep breaths. Inhale into your lower back. Good, and after that second exhale, lift your torso up, come up onto the fingertips, walk your hands over to the left side, and we're just trying to find the stretch in the right side of the lower back. So if you can feel it there, that's good. And if you wanna fold your torso down onto your leg, you can do that as well. Remember to keep your right sitting bone grounded and just take two deep breaths in and out. Should feel a nice stretch in that space. One more. Good, from here we're gonna switch it up and I'm just gonna face you so you can see what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take our left hand over to the left side of our mat and we're gonna circle and lift our right arm up to come into a side body stretch. Now we haven't opened up the sides of the body just yet so be really gentle and mindful of the space. And just reach your right arm away from you. Take a big breath into the right side of the body. And as you exhale, reach a little further. 
One more like that. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. And then inhale, sweep both arms up and exhale your hands down through to your heart center. Good. From here, just change the fold of your legs. So the opposite leg is in front of the, um, <laughs> is in front. And then really slowly bring your hands out in front of you. And again, just fold yourself down nice and gently. And the reason why we change legs in this um, way or we change arms in this way is because we physically will stretch into a different space. So hopefully what you're feeling now is a deeper stretch into one side of your glute, which is your butt muscles, than the other. And that's good. That's what we're looking for. And just let that be. Fold forward and breathe into the space. Breathe into your lower back as well. Take two inhales, two exhales. And after your exhale, just walk your hands up, lift your torso up, walk yourself over, walk your hands rather over to that right side. Find a stretch in the left side of your lower back. Ground that left hip down, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, fold yourself down to a spot where you feel like you're getting a good stretch. And it might not be the same distance to the ground as the opposite side, and that's okay. And it's really, really important to learn that that is okay that you don't need to force yourself through to one side or the other. There's a concept in yoga. It's kind of hard to talk about these in yoga videos. It's called ahimsa, and it's one of the yamas or niyamas, I think. And the concept is that um, we should go through our lives without, without harming people or without harming ourselves. And so when you force yourself to like meet each side the same, you don't consider yourself in a way you're kind of bringing harm to your body by not being considerate and by powering through and maybe injuring yourself so just take that time to ground yourself down and to allow each side to be individual and to treat it with care let's just take one deep breath in and out here and exhale maybe soften a little bit more and then when you're ready, we're just going to walk that right arm over to the right side and sweep our left arm up to stretch into the left side. Breathe into the left side of the body. As you exhale, extend a little further and take one more full breath in and out. That's it. Press into the bottom hand, lift both arms up. And as you exhale, drop your hands down through to your heart center and try to relax your shoulders. Good, I want it to stretch into our necks. So just take your hands up and take a full breath in. And to begin with, before we do that, we're gonna interlace our fingers and exhale, press our arms up, press our hands up. Good, and then inhale, opening up. And exhale, press away. Then one more, inhale, opening up. And exhale, press away. Good, and then press your hand, turn your hands over, bring them onto your head. And from here, we're gonna drop our right ear down to our right shoulder. And instead of uh, pulling our head down to our right shoulder, we're just gonna let the weight of that right arm do the, do the job and the work for us. So just find that stretch in the left side of your neck. And then bring your left hand onto the floor and walk it as far away from you as you can. And then glue those left fingertips to the ground and take three deep breaths in and out. And see if you can relax here. If you want something to think about, you could focus on your sitting bones and the weight and how your weight is dispersed into them. Good, and then you can slide your right hand off of the side of your off of the top of your head to the side of your head, so to the inside and then press it up just with a little bit of strength. Good, and soften. Bring your right arm out beside you, lift your left arm up, and take your left hand on top of your head, drop your left ear down to your left shoulder, and just find the stretch in the left side. Three breaths.
And after that third exhale, slowly slide your left hand down to the side of your head. Press your head up with a little bit of strength. Good, and just make sure your neck feels okay. And to do that, we're just gonna bring our hands onto our knees. Inhale, lift our shoulders up, keep your head facing forward. Just roll your shoulders back and we're just loosening up the muscles around the neck as we do this. So inhale, lifting up, rolling back. And one more, breathing in and breathing out. Good. Press down into your feet and your sitting bones. And as you breathe in, I want you to inhale into your belly and inhale into your chest and lift your spine up nice and tall. As you exhale, we're just going to draw the chin towards the neck, but we're keeping the spine nice and tall. So we're not rounding forward, right? We're keeping the spine tall. We're just dropping the chin down. And then you can rest here if you'd like, if that feels okay for your shoulders, or you might like to take your hands interlaced onto the back of your head. But whatever you do, try to relax into the space across the tops of the shoulders and keep the spine long. And just breathe. One more inhale. Slow exhale. Good. So from here, we're going to slide our hands down the sides of our face and use a bit of strength to lift your head up. Nice. And then I'd like you to draw a prayer position with your hands and I'll turn side on because it's kind of good angle for you to see me. And we're going to bring our thumbs underneath our chin. Before we lift our hands up, I want you to really relax into the tops of the shoulders because when these jam up, that's when we get the neck injuries. And when you're ready, take a full breath in and just start to lift your prayer facing hands up towards the sky or the ceiling and lift your chin up and just find your limit where it feels like you're getting a nice stretch into the front of the neck and hold there and take two deep breaths in and out. Relax the shoulders on the exhale. One more. Good. And then really slowly lower your prayer hands down and relax. Alrighty, let's get into some sequences now that our whole body is nice and open. Come onto your hands and your knees into a tabletop position and really ground down into your thumb and your second finger, press down into your knees, your feet. And when you're ready, lift your back up to the ceiling and let's just take a big breath into the back to begin with. And a full, full exhale out. Lift your back up a little higher. And on your next inhale, we're just gonna drop the belly down a little bit and open up the front of the body, opening the space across the shoulders, reaching our chest forward, lifting our chin up. It should feel good in the neck. And as you exhale, press the floor away from you. Round your back up to the ceiling. Keep breathing like this, inhaling, lowering down. Maybe going a little bit deeper stretching the front of the body a little bit more and exhaling to press away. Okay, and then inhale, drop your belly down and exhale, press the floor away. And do two more rounds of breath like this, breathing in, breathing out. And you press the floor away from you a little more. And last one, breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Before we come into our sequences, I want us to do one more thing. Bring your feet together, press into your hands. Come back into a lowered child's posey uh, sort of um, setup like this. And as we inhale, I want you to inhale and bring your torso over the top of your left hand. So inhale, sweeping over to the left with the body. Bring the torso over the top of the left hand. And as you exhale, circle back down into your child's pose, um, looking pose, <laughs> child's pose, looking pose. Inhale over the top of the right hand and exhale back down. So we're kind of drawing half circles here, a U shape with our body as we breathe in, we lift. And as we breathe out, we circle back around. And I want you to focus on making those U shapes with your body as big as you need to to feel a really nice stretch into 
the sides of your body, especially into the sides of your hip. Good, just do one more here, breathing in and breathing out. And then come back to a neutral position and tuck your toes under and step yourself back into a plank. And just start walking your plank on the spot. I'm gonna hold for three breaths. Keep lifting your back up to the ceiling and you're just stretching into your hamstrings. One. Two. Keep lifting. And three, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, come back to your down dog. Nice, keep walking on the spot. And on your next breath in, lift your hips and your heels up off the floor, breathe it in. As you exhale, press into your hands, send your hips back, ground your heels down. Two more, breathing in, lifting up. And breathing out, sending them back. And one more, breathing in. And exhale, sending them back. Good, walk your feet on the spot. Stretching it out. And when you're ready, take a big breath in. Lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. Straighten that leg, press the heel away from you to engage the thigh muscle. And as you exhale, step forward to the top of the mat. Drop your back knee to the ground. Flatten the back foot out on the floor and inhale, send your hips back. Exhale, send your hips forward, sink them down. Two more like that, breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in, sending them back. And breathing out, sending them forward. Nice, from here, ground your right hand down, bring your left hand onto your knee, press down into the knee to come into a twist. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the floor. And press down into that left foot into the right hand, lift your left arm up, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, extend the hand towards the front of the room. Good, press that right heel away from you and press that um, sorry, reach that left hand out in front of you and just find a stretch all the way from the fingertip to the heel. Take one more breath here. Good, and then windmill that left arm back behind you as you breathe in. Bring it down onto the ground and from here we're going to drop the back knee to the floor. Sweep both arms up. And as you exhale, I want you to bring your left hand onto your hip. Reach your right arm over towards the left side. That's it, take a full breath in, and then kick down into that right foot, reach your right arm over to the left side. And last one, full breath in, and exhale, extend. Go lift your, left arm, uh, your right arm up, pardon me. And as you exhale, bring your right hand onto the outside of your left knee, twist to your left side. This is our first twist for the day, so just be really gentle. As you exhale, you might wanna press your right hand into that left knee to twist a little deeper and then draw the chin in towards your neck to lengthen up through the top of the spine take a full breath in a full breath out and on your next inhale turn your head to face forward so breathing in looking forward and as you exhale turn your head to face back good two more breathing in looking forward and breathing out looking back and last one, breathing in, looking forward. And breathing in, look, breathing out, looking back. Nice, inhale, sweep both arms up. As you exhale, float them down. And then from here, step yourself back into your plank, breathing in. As you exhale, lower yourself down, use your knees if you need to. Inhale for your cobra, squeeze your shoulder blades together, press your feet and your hands down. And to keep the spine long, draw the chin into the neck and then exhale down. Let's just do two more and just make them a little bit bigger each time if it feels all right for you. And exhaling down. And if you find you've gone too far, just slow it down. Do a really little one, breathing in and breathing out. On your next breath in, power up into your plank or tabletop and exhale back to your downward facing dog. And pedal your knees out left to right so you're walking the dog on the spot again. And on your next inhale, we're gonna lift our hips and our heels up and exhale, ground them down. And next, we're gonna inhale, lift our hips and our heels up and then roll forward into a plank pose, so breathing in. 
Keep the space between your shoulders lifted. And exhale back into your downward facing dog. Good, two more like that. So breathing and rolling forward into a plank. And breathing out downward facing dog. One more. And breathing out. Lovely. Lift your right leg up, breathe it in. Exhale, step it forward. Drop the back knee to the ground. Come up onto the fingertips. Inhale, send your hips back. And exhale, send your hips forward. Two more. Breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Plant your left hand down on the floor. Take your right hand onto your right knee. Straighten your back leg off the floor. And come into your twist. When you're ready, if you're ready, you can lift your right arm up. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, reach your hand towards the front of the room and find the stretch from the fingertips to that back heel. Take two more breaths here. Press down into the ground. One more. Good, and then windmill that right arm back behind you and bring it down onto the mat. And from here, drop the back knee to the floor, sweep both arms up. Take your right hand onto your hip and reach your left arm over to the right side. Press down into that left foot, take two breaths. And one more, breathe it in. And breathe it out. And then inhale, reach your left arm up. Take your left hand onto the outside of your right knee. Bring your right hand behind you and come to your twist. Look towards your right shoulder and draw the chin in towards your neck. That's it. Take another full breath in and an exhale here. And on your next breath in, turn your head to face forward. Breathe it in. And breathe it out, turn back. And breathing in, look forward. And breathe it out, look back. Last one, breathe it in, look forward. And breathe it out, turn back. Good, inhale, sweep both arms up. And as you exhale, reach your hands forward to the front of the mat. And from here, we're gonna walk them over towards the left side and lift our legs up into a wide-legged uh, position. Inhale up into your halfway lift and as you exhale just press into the edges of your feet and, and fold yourself down. And just find that stretch on the insides of your legs. Take two deep breaths in and out. One more. And then inhale up into your halfway lift. And I've been doing this one for the last couple of weeks because it's just so good for the hips. And I'm yet to think of something that is better, although I'm sure there is. So take a full breath in, lift yourselves up. And as you exhale, drop your hips over towards your left foot, straighten your right leg, and just sink the hips down. And just feel that nice stretch into the hips. And then inhale, bring your hands through the center of the mat, lift yourselves up and exhale over to the other side, straighten the left leg. It's good, eh? Inhale, back to center. And exhale, lower down. And just one more here, inhaling back up. And exhaling, lowering down. Good, turn yourself back to the front of your mat, step back into your plank, breathe it in. And as you exhale, lower yourself all the way down onto your belly. And then take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, reach them back behind you as you lift up into your cobra. And exhale, lower down, keep the hands connected. Two more, breathing in, lifting up. Squeeze your shoulders together and exhale down. And last one, full breath in. And full breath out. Good. Take your hands underneath you. On your first breath in, power up into a plank. Breathe it in. As you exhale, come back to your down dog. Last little stretch here. We're going to step our right foot forward to our right wrist, like so. 
And then we're going to step our left foot forward to our left wrist to come into a yogi squat, like so. Take your arms onto the insides of your knees and bring your palms together. And if you find you can't get your heels down, take a brick, if you've got one, underneath your heels or underneath your sitting bones. It will help you lift up a little bit. Or a cushion or a towel or a pillow. You can pause the video and grab it. And if you just paused it, welcome back. Alrighty, press your arms into your legs. Press your legs into your arms and just find a little bit of resistance between pressing outwards with the arm and pressing inwards with the legs. Palms gently together, breathe into the belly and the chest. And as you exhale, draw the chin in, lengthen through the back of the spine. And take two deep breaths in and out here. And one more. Good, and then bring your fingertips onto the floor. Inhale to lift your chest up. And from here, we're going to fold ourselves forward. So we're lifting our hips up, folding forward into a Uttanasana, a forward fold position. And I want you to do your best to straighten your legs without pushing to that limit where it hurts. So if there's a little bend, that's fine, but we're just working towards straightening them rather than straightening them. Okay, so take a big breath in again. And as you exhale, I'll show you side on so you can see. We're going to lift the hips up and straighten the legs, fold ourselves forward. And we're just looking for a nice, lovely stretch in the hamstrings. Relax your head. Inhale, drop your hips down. Come back into your yogi squat. Reach your chest forward. And exhale, fold again, straighten the legs. One more. Breathing in. And breathing out. And from here, just turn your feet to face forward and pedal your knees out left to right. And we've got one more little stretch here that we're going to do. We're going to walk our hands over towards our right um, foot. So both hands walked out towards the right foot and then bend into the left knee a little more. And you should feel a stretch in the outside of your left hip. Relax your head and your neck. Take two deep breaths. Bend that right knee a little more. And on your next breath in, just lift yourself back to center. Straighten both legs as much as you can, of course. If you've got a little bend, that's fine. And then walk them over towards the left side and just bend the left knee a little more. Relax your torso and your head. And just breathe. I'm aware I've had my um, face in the little microphone here this whole class so I apologize if the audio sounds a little funny good just take one more breath and then bring yourself back to center and just bend both knees and from here sink your hips down maybe you're up on your toes it's fine I'm just gonna relax the hips down and take a hold of our legs like so curl ourselves in a little ball and draw our chin in and take three breaths. Relax into the lower back. And then really slowly release yourself down onto your hands and your knees bring your feet and your um, knees together and tuck your toes under and let's stretch into the backs of the feet by walking our hands back towards our legs good and just find that nice stretch in the calves opening up and trying to find a little bit of stillness in a pretty deep stretch One more. And slowly release your hands down. Flatten your feet out on the floor. Walk your hands back and lift your knees up. Like so. And just take one more big breath in. And exhale, lower down. Good. Come back onto into a seated position. And from here, 
ground down into the hips and into the sitting bones. And we're just going to finish the class in a seated position. So we're just going to take a moment to ground down into the sitting bones, into the feet, and take a big breath into your belly, into your chest. And as you exhale, draw your chin inwards and lengthen up through the top of your head. Just relax into the shoulders and the neck. Relax into your arms. Relax into the muscles of the face. And as you inhale, just find that length in the spine. So draw the chin in and think of lengthening up through the top of the head. And exhaling to soften. Keep breathing. As you breathe here, you might like to notice the weight in your sitting bones and in your feet. And see if you can exhale and soften down into the ground, into those sitting bones, into the feet. Is there any part of your body you can soften a little bit more? Let's just take five more deep breaths in and out here. And maybe you'd like to reflect on your affirmation, your intention. And imagine you're breathing it in again. One more breath. And then you can gently open your eyes if they were closed. Inhale to lift your arms up. Exhale to bring them down through to your heart center. And just take one more breath into the belly, into the chest, into your body. And out. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that your body feels good. I hope that you feel relaxed and I hope that you got something from your intention or your affirmation. I hope to see you again. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for updates on videos and namaste.